my series S1, S2 are stationary at level with drip. So I will run a var model with drip. Let us package var with common library vars. Then select the optimal order for var model with common var select. and type your data set my df and type type equals uh, since my series are stationary with drip I'm writing here constant and press enter yeah the result is showing me to take or to use var3 model so to run a var model type the following command give an object name type the following command var1 and then var parenthesis type your data set comma P equals three since it is the order of it is the order of bar model and then type type equals constant press enter to see the result type summary bars one R1 the result is coming with some exponential form of number if if you want to remove the exponential form of number once then SCI P E N uh, 999 nine, 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 and press enter and then run the command this one To run a impulse response function, type the following command. Give an object name. IRF parenthesis. The object in which we stored our par result, par model, par1, comma impulse. comma impulse within double quotation write interested series comma response write interested series and then n a hit n a hit let's say I want to see the result after 12 month press enter then float IRF1 yeah this is your impulse response function this float is showing the response of S2 to a one standard shock in S1 series as you can see here the zero line is passing between the 95 percent con confidence interval so this is showing that the response of S2 is not statistically significant if we give one standard shock to S1 series now if you want to extract residual give object name type f assignment operator then residual then model name part one and then press enter yeah. 
if you want to know the response of S2 series following a uh, following one standard deviation shock to S1 series you can type the command type the command give an object name just change the series here we want to see S2 and here S1 S1 and press enter and then plot IRF2 press enter this is our graph to check the Granger causality type causality then the object var1 then cos equals within double quotation right, right interested series press enter null hypothesis here is that uh, s1 do not Granger cos s2 and p value is too high so we cannot reject the null hypothesis check for other variable also type s2 here press enter yeah we cannot also reject the null hypothesis since p value is too high thank you very much